hello guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i was able to achieve a 20 liter multi-purpose soap this soap is perfect for washing dishes it is perfect for washing your clothes it is perfect for washing cars cleaning your house washing toilet and many more and in this video i'm going to be showing you a simple step that you'll be able to achieve your own liquid soap all you need to do is to visit any chemical shop and tell them you want to buy and chemicals for liquid soap and tell them how many liters of soap you are willing to make and they are going to give it to you in this video i'll walk you through the step-to-step -step process of creating your soap and then you need a very very large bowl because that's what you'll be using for your mixing and these are the chemicals that you need to get to make your liquid soap nitrosol soda ash you need texabon just like this, it's jelly kind. You need SLS. You also need sulfonic acid. You need um, preservative and color. You can get your foam booster if you want and your SP, STPP. You also need perfumes and these are everything you need to make your soap. So to get started, please make sure you're wearing your gloves and your nose mask because the chemicals are really ash. In this large bowl, I'll be measuring my 10 liters of water. I'm using this 4 liters of and cake twice and half of it, making it 10. And I'm going to remove 2 liters because I'll be using it later. The first chemical you should be adding is your nitrous soil. So you add this to the water and stir very properly to make sure it dissolves completely and you're not seeing any lumps. Then you go in with your sulfonic acid. Just pour the solution into the water and stir very, very properly. If you can get some Somebody that can be happy you to put them it is fine but if you can't you can do it on your own totally go in with your texabon um solution and add it into the water make sure you add everything and stir properly the and stir properly the key to making your liquid soap is by stirring the chemicals really really well and very very properly to make sure that they all dissolve you add in your SLS and also stir. Make sure you stir all your chemicals for three to five minutes at least. Three to five minutes each to make sure that they completely dissolve completely and you're not seeing any lumps like this. So I'll take my time and stir properly. So to avoid lumps like this, you can add your solution in a separate bowl, add in a, uh, some water from the two liters that we kept and then start mixing from there before you turn into your soap. Continue mixing the soup for at least five minutes to make sure that everything dissolves properly. So I'll add in my other chemicals like this and add water to mix properly because I find that, that mixing it directly in the soup takes a little more time for it to dissolve. So I'll just step properly like this and turn inside the soap and mix together. At this point, you can see that the soap is beginning to come together to form this thick consistency. I'll set aside and bring in my soda ash, pour it inside the water also and the bucket also and add in some water. Please note that the water we're adding is from the two liter that we kept aside. Then I'll stir very well to make sure that it is off completely. After stirring for a few minutes, I'll also add it to the soup that we are making. Just continue this way for the other chemicals and stir your soup completely well. When you start stirring like this, you are going to see that it is starting to thicken up just like this, like the solution is coming together. At this point, if you can get your foam booster, you can add it. But if you don't have a foam booster, it's fine. Then go in with your perfumes like this and stir completely. This perfume comes in different fragrances. You can get the one for sunflower. They have the one for lemon. They have a lot of fragrance that you can choose from. So the last thing that we're going to add is our color. All you need to do is to deserve the, dissolve the color in water and add to your soup you can get any color also of your choice it comes in green red yellow orange name it you can find it in the chemical shop at this point our soap is ready and it is ready to keep for 48 hours you can also add in extra 10 liters of water now if you want for this soap or you can add it later remember we bought chemicals for 10 liters and that 10 liter is uh, going to give us 20 liters of soap, okay? Just because I don't want to miss mine. I don't want mine to be very light. That's why I left it like this. So we're going to cover for 48 hours at least. You have to leave your soap for two days. 
for it to come together. So guys, it's, it's already past two days. It's already past for eight hours. And we'll be, um, I'm showing you guys how the soap looks like and everything. So you have to leave the soap for 14 hours at least before you can work, you can use it. Or maybe 28 hours. Just leave it for a few hours before you use it, okay? So that the soap will be able to ferment and you know, come together before you use. Yeah. So let's quickly see how our soap looks like. So guys, after 48 hours, this is how our chemical soap is looking. Like guys, the consistency of this soap is amazing. This soap is perfect for everyday use. If you know you're a mom and you want to save costs, you want to save money for your family, you should make this soap at home and it's going to serve you for a very, very long time. Like long time. I don't think for the many part of this year, I'll be getting liquid soap. This 20 liters of soap is enough for me. Anytime I want to use, I'll just take small quantity from it, add in a little bit of water and we are good to go. So you can see that our soap is not perfectly ready and you can see how thick it is looking. So guys, at this point, if you know you want to add water, you can add water now on your soap. So this is the two quantity of soap. For the first one, as I'm showing you now, I didn't add water, which is this. This one, I added a little water. The more you add water to your soap, the more the color will become light. So that's why you see some liquid soap is lighter than others. So this is how our soap is looking. And here in this one, you can see I added water in this particular one. And you can see how light it is. So, so that is it for today's video and have a wonderful day.